Imagine the faster you grow, the faster your spine curves. That's what happens when your child has scoliosis. It can be painful and debilitating, but now there's a new experimental procedure to try to correct it. You got this, Sophie. You got this. <laughs> Ever since Sophie Clem can remember, she's loved to bend and bounce and flip and flop. I just have had quite a lot of balance and bars. I just ended up getting high scores. But this is the first time in five months she's been back in the gym. Sophie was worried her tumbling days were numbered, diagnosed at age seven with scoliosis. It kind of just looked like a curve. We tried bracing, physical therapy, uh, chiropractic care. But her condition got worse. What started as a 14 degree curve was now 36 degrees. Pediatric orthopedic surgeon Jaron Riley's main concern for kids with scoliosis keep them moving and maintain their range of motion. One option, a traditional spinal fusion that would likely stop Sophie's growth, or a new experimental surgery called vertebral body tethering. We place these screws, one screw into each of those individual bones of the spine. And then between each of those screws, we place a rope and then tension that rope between the screws to make this curve straighten out. Think of it like braces for the spine. So the long side of the spine stays put, the short side keeps growing, and the curve starts to straighten out. Doctors saw immediate results. On the left is Sophie's spine before surgery. On the right, after. It feels like a huge step forward, quite honestly. The one thing I want to get back to doing is probably like handstands or cartwheels on the beam because they're really fun to do. The surgery is not FDA approved. Risks include injury to the heart and the lungs, infection, nerve damage, and even paralysis. Because it is new, the long-term issues are not yet known.